This is Brett Mumy with Skipper Buds Yacht Sales. I'm gonna take you on a tour of this brand new world debut Galleon 560 Fly. Come aboard and let's take a look. Starting on the swim platform, a new uh, kind of standard that's, be, that's came on, on all new models coming out uh, across different brands is this telescoping stairway for when your power swim platform lowers. What I do like with the Galleon that I haven't seen on anything else is this stainless edging and stainless surround for all of your stairs. Uh, Galleon has a full in-house metal shop where they make all of their own stainless and their rails and everything else, which gives them ability to do unique things like this. We have a nice jump seat on the transom, watching the kids swim. And uh, down below there's room for two crew with a large window, uh, which has, has followed true on all the galleons, but uh, what I like for this size model is that engine room access. So you do have a quick access from your cockpit, but from the crew quarter, you have a full door, much like what you'd see on a 70 to 80 foot boat for accessing your engine room. Nice gas assisted crew door. Telescoping stainless ladder off the transom, accessible from the water. And uh, this is kind of unique as well, this full wraparound teeth and badging on the back. It's hard to see during the light here, but there is accent lights that light up the whole transom of this boat at night under here, across the fly bridge, and uh, little access to the whole boat. I do like even the way that they vented the engine room space is unique. And instead of being an uh, eyesore, it, ad it adds to the aesthetics of the boat. And even in the cockpit, again, I feel like I'm on a 60, 65 foot boat. And then you add in the extra beam width of the two full down platforms on both port and starboard. And it's, it's absolutely massive. One of the nice things that's easily overlooked is the full dive door. So when that's in the up position, you do have a boarding access from your average dock height into the cockpit with plenty of space access. You have the windows, which aside from aesthetics, uh, makes it a little bit easier when docking or maneuvering, seeing through from the, the salon to what's going on outside of the boat. The two bar stools on this side, there's a little bit different option on the opposite side here. And then you do have the flip up bar area to fully utilize this space. And as you can see, see going straight through, the, the visuals are insane. And you have a massive starboard sliding door. And when we move forward, I'll show you the helm area as well. Again, bow space, more consistent with what you see in a 60. When we move down, you'll see the amount of light that spills into this boat, not just from the hull windows, but the top side. So you have top side windows, you have the emergency hatch here as well, and then a forward seat facing seat with a sun lounge that's convertible to be a true sun lounge, aft facing for forward leaning. seamless windshield, no stanchion in the center, breaking your sight line when you're underway at the, the main helm. Here standing on the starboard pull-down platform, you can see the utilization of this, this door that opens wide. The table will fold in and slide in. You can have a standard normal uh, interior facing backrest or fold it down like the forward seat here where you can fit four people comfortably at this uh, seating area. So the amount of zones on this boat between the bow, the fly bridge, the cockpit, this exterior seating, both port and starboard, and then the main dinette, convertible dinette area is, is again, it's, it's much more consistent with what you see on a mid to high 60 foot range boat. Moving the interior, you have a few different options on flooring. This is, um, their, their lighter option with the eucalyptus matte finish on the wood. There's three options for, for those wood finishes, as well as the, vine, as the vinyl. This is the fabric option. You can do a traditional white vinyl or, or more of a mocha tan vinyl as well. I do really like the amount of storage that they've packed in. Again, on this size boat, feels much larger. Having a peninsula of earth, having drawers everywhere, but uh, most importantly in my eyes for a 56 foot boat is a full fridge, dual freezer, uh, with the, again, normally we're seeing maybe three, potentially four drawer storage 
uh, on this size boat. So you have this refrigeration here, you have ice maker, you have refrigerator top side. When we get down to the master, you'll see a large refrigerator in the master. So the refrigeration is unlike anything I've ever seen on a 56. You have the uh, more traditional or uh, expected microwave convection. You do have a four burner cooktop, which uh, often we're not seeing, again, on this size boat, a nice vent to vent that out. Not that on your average day or nice day where it's wide open that you necessarily need that, but often cooking, that's that's gonna help for the owners that actually use the boat to cook and, and uh, stay on the boat for extended periods of time. And again, storage is all throughout. I mean, massive amount of storage under here. It's, it's impressive how they utilize the storage above, um, you know, underneath everywhere through the boat without interfering with the air movement, which is the biggest issue that we run into with storage. You're running vents, you're running, you know, the blower for this or whatever else um, all through the boat, and, and that eats up that storage. So the, the thought process and uh, the design that went into that to make the amount of storage still without interfering and having the, the necessary air movement throughout the boat is, uh, is not something to overlook. You have a large power flat screen that powers up under this station. Very large dinette, you know, comfortably fit five or six people at this seat. Um, as important, it's on a power high low, so you can put it in a low station, which will allow for a, a two adult sleeper on here. So if you add the crew, most of our owners aren't gonna use that crew for true crew, uh, but what they will use it for is older kids, grandkids, whatever else that are joining on the boat. So. You add the six sleepers down, ability to sleep six down, two here, you're at eight, and then ten, uh, 10 with the two in the crew area. So again, 56 foot boat, comfortably sleeping 10 people is, is incredible. Again, unique storage all throughout. Really nice kind of companion seat, helm station. And uh, one of my favorites is this helm door. Uh, again, the galleon has been starting to do that on their newer models, and we're seeing other manufacturers start to incorporate that on their new boats, but the ability to access just for entertaining, let alone for docking, being able to hold your lines. Quite often, I'll take my bow line, my spring line, and my, uh, my stern line, and I'll run them up to the deck or run them up and hang them off the rail on a boat like this. So if, I'm, if it's not great weather, I don't feel like running from the fly bridge, I can easily push up to the dock. I can step out here. I can grab all three lines at one location without leaving the helm, throwing them down to the dock hand and making it super comfortable to single hand a boat of this size if you don't have a, a deck hand running around or a friend that's running, running lines for you. Moving down, galleons moved away from the, uh, the previous finishes on the side, making something a little bit more durable. And in my personal opinion, it's it's a much cleaner, uh, a more modern feel. We'll start with the VIP. Again, head height. So this is a little bump out, which is your, uh, in front of the forward facing seat in the bow. So that's a little bump out for your feet area. And still, you know, you have probably six, six head height here. You move past that and you're approaching seven feet of head height and the rest of the VIP. Of course, have entertainment, you know, TV. You have huge storage all throughout. There is a washer dryer combo unit that can go in the crew area. Drawer storage under the bed, storage around, storage cubbies. Um, there's a nice little makeup station back behind here with a pedestal seat that folds away out of the way. And the head is shocking, is the only word that I know how to describe. The first time I stepped in this head, um, kind of blown away. I mean, obviously this massive hall window, full length, you know, huge height, and but the finishes. You've got these awesome marble finishes, cutouts in the floor, you're not seeing stainless rings, there's just a lot of little details that sets this apart from anything else I've seen, again, in this size range, on spatial use, on feel. You're in here and the amount of light, open porthole, just makes this room feel massive for a 56 foot guest head. 
And same goes for the third stateroom. A more traditional layout that we see on this size boat. Um, good space, but the massive hall window, again, helps that, uh, that feeling of openness and space in here. So you can imagine adults or a couple children staying in here and not feeling claustrophobic or feeling closed in just because of that, that amount of space. But again, looking over, we've got seven foot-ish of head clearance, giving again that uh, perception of room and, and comfort. Moving into the master, again, tons of space, storage um, all throughout. I will, uh, I'll show you this main space and then I'll, I'll move into the head and show you the amount of room there. But both his and her closets, hanging lockers, massive. This is actually a refrigerator. Again, adding a level of refrigeration and then all sorts of storage for your boat. Massive recess, flush, HD TV, smart TV. And again, similar to the VIP, you have a makeup station right here or a little office work spot. There is a outlet right under here. So uh, personally, I can imagine leave my laptop set up here all the time, you know, adding a Starlink or using Marina Wi-Fi and being able to kind of work remotely wherever you're at. Then master head, again, huge space for this size boat. The window that goes full length and as much height as they could have, nice little seating area in the head and, and or in the shower rather. And the stand-up shower is, again, it's massive for this size boat. Normally you'll, you'll see this style with some sort of cutoff in a bulkhead here. So just adding that small footprint of area and utilizing the hall shape to include this seat here um, opens this shower quite a bit. And then having that, you can imagine being anchored out in the Bahamas or uh, Northern Great Lakes or wherever and having a beautiful view while you're you know, getting ready. Uh, adding to the value of the trip instead of a process to get ready to whatever your next adventure is, this becomes something that's exciting. It's something that you look forward to because you have a view that you'll never have in any shower, uh, in any home in the world. All right, top side. Uh, first, I'd like to note, we just walked up a set of stairs that is very comfortable. There's not huge elevation changes. They're not overly steep. So forward facing, going back down is comfortable as opposed to a lot of boats where you almost feel like you have to turn around and shimmy backwards just because the elevation is, is too high. Uh, in the stern here, you have what more common what you see at high end resort style, and that's that's the uh, the goal. And uh, two large layout sun pads, obviously they're removable, and you can imagine utilizing this space for, for different applications. Behind me, we got storage aft, and an ice maker forward. And then over in the flybridge galley, you have the sink, you have an additional uh, freezer plate, cooler, and then your grill. And down below, we're gonna have another refrigerator and more storage. So when you add this refrigerator, the full stand-up refrigerator, the master stateroom refrigerators, you're at three refrigerators, the equivalent of probably five drawer refrigerator storage. You add the two freezers, um, you know, additional ice or freezer here, and you're at four different areas of, of freezer space. Again, for a, a 560, a 56-foot bowl is very uncommon. Ample audio all throughout the bowl. We haven't noticed, noted on that. They do an excellent job of hiding speakers so you're not seeing you know, big body stick out speakers, matching painted uh, speaker covers to match the hardtop accents. Of course, there's all sorts of accent LED lights under this hardtop. And again, massive space in the flybridge. So you have the zone forward facing. This can flip back to the aft facing. And then same goes for this seat. So when you're at rest, got this this massive space entertainment zone where you can fit a dozen or more people all in, in one area but more importantly in my eyes is the ability to turn this to alfresco dinette so you have 10 people it's a beautiful day you want to sit top side out where you have a view or you're sitting at the marina like we are now surrounded by boats right 
but my visuals when I when I look out, I'm looking over these all the boats to our, our side here, our port side. So it changes that whole perspective of uh, of your view at the marina. Let alone when you're out, you know, anchored in in Bahamas or wherever you might be. So uh, and of course you've got full controls at the Flybridge helm. Full audio, the digital switching, screens, um, numerous cameras throughout the boat. So the ability to dock here on nice weather days, you can imagine you can see almost your entire port side. You can see your bow, uh, uh, sorry, starboard side. You can see your bow port and starboard side. You flip on the camera, it's off the hard top. You can see your entire uh, swim platform and back area. So you've got all sides of your boat covered once you pull up a screen from docking here. And same goes for docking single-handed. If you're running uh, solo, you take the same thing that I, I spoke of down at the lower helm door, you tie off your bow line to this rail, throw it up, your spring line, you throw it up, and then your stern line, you throw it up. You get in, into the dock here, you're able to take those lines, throw them down to a dock end, uh, whether that's port art or starboard, starboard, you either have a couple steps or without even touch, uh, removing your hand from your steering wheel, you have the ability to throw it out and, and uh, keep control of the boat right at the helm. So beautiful new model. Uh, you can call Skipper Buds or our Marine Max location, depending on, on your location, anytime. Again, my name's Brett Moomy. I'm out of Michigan, handling a lot of the Great Lakes area. Um, call us today and we'd be happy to set a showing.